again YouTube, Mad Dog here, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm back up the woods and just behind me over on that old tree stump, I've got a bit of a cardboard box filled with wadding as a target. And today I'm going to be doing a little bit of slingshot practice. So stay with me and let's have some slingshot fun. Okay, so it's slingshot Sunday. So I thought I'd give this a go. And I've got this little setup here, belt carry setup, this little leather pouch. I got this from eBay, about a fiver, something like that. And it's a great little, if you're into this sort of thing, a great little pouch to add to your kit because the side attachment here, you can store away your slingshot with this little fastening loop here. And then you can load your ammunition into, into uh, the main compartment, the main pouch there. Try not to spill them everywhere. So I've got some, um, I believe these are 8mm steel ball bearings and at the bottom of this try not to spill these things everywhere there is another little flap here so you open that and on the back of that there is a small magnetic piece which allows the ball bearings to drop out but they don't fall on the floor so you can just peel them off and the next one comes out and so on and so on you can take them out as many or as few as you need. In my case, it will be many because I don't profess to be no no expert shot with these things. I've mucked about with these things since I was a kid, you know, like most of us have. Just put that down there a minute. And um, as you can see, I've got one of the old, this is, I believe it's called a Barnet Black Widow. Um, it used to have the wrist um, attachment on it as well, but I've removed that for easy storage in that pouch. And um, yeah, it's a it's a tubular one. I'm hoping to upgrade to a flat flat band um, catapult, catapult or dobber or slingshot, whatever you you call it over where you are. I'm hoping to improve on this, but um, I'm gonna have a few shots at this now and see how we get on. Stay with me. Okay. completely missed <laughs> shooting too far to the right it's all about windage and elevation apparently <laughs> let's go again that went over Apparently, over in the UK, it is legal to hunt with a catapult slingshot, providing, obviously, you're, you're on a permission land, which I am, um, and also you must use proper proper ammunition, steel balls, lead, um, glass balls, etc. You can't use stones or rocks on the ground, off the ground, as that's deemed as being stoning, which still carries a heavy, punishable sentence. So. As mad as it is, that's that's the law. Over again. <laughs> I do think the flat bland, the flat banded versions of this will be better for me. Whoa! Just kissed over the top of it. <laughs> I know that I should use the same aim point at my cheek, like archery or anything else like this. Oh, <laughs> close but no cigar. It's just a great way of whiling away a bit of time up in the woods. I much prefer my rifle, to be honest. I know that I can get something with that. <laughs> Yay, at last. Off camera, I was hitting it repetitively, you know, over and over again. I couldn't miss. As soon as I get the camera rolling, everyone's a miss. <laughs> but that's all part of the fun with these things. But um, that's my little slingshot anyway. I'm going to play about up here, get a bit more practicing. I clearly need it. <laughs> I believe the correct technique is to lock out your arm. 
and making sure that the actual leather pouch that holds your ammunition are equal with the ball centered and you should ideally like with archery is have the same point of aim every time when you release so you draw back to the same point however yes when i'm using my bow i've got a couple of bows um that is true but when when i'm using a slingshot i personally it's probably just me being a weirdo <laughs> but uh, i always find it more successful if i shoot intuitively so just wherever it lands if that makes sense by feel rather than aim so i'm going to reload get a few more balls in my pocket so to speak and uh, throw a few more of these steel ball bearings down range the other thing to consider is your back stop like i've just clearly demonstrated <laughs> when you miss you need to know where your ammunition is going so uh, well away from any fo public footpaths roadways etc keep your ammunition within your permission so it doesn't go into somebody else's neighboring plot etc and uh, stay within the law when you're using these things guys and lasses never aim it at anybody especially youngsters out there you know these things whilst they may look toyish they do carry a good wallop and you wouldn't want to be smacked in the kisser with one of these it's uh, definitely a trick to a and &E. so that being said i'm going to continue playing now leave you all in peace for now i'll probably add a bit of footage on the end and uh, wish you all uh, a great weekend. See you soon. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs>